Hi, my name is Adam. I'm in Section 2 of Fundamentals of Physics at Full Sail University. Today we're going to be talking about electricity and magnetism. And we'll demonstrate that electricity has magnetism by using a galvanometer. A galvanometer is an instrument that uses a floating magnetic needle to detect the magnetic field produced by electricity. Essentially, it's a compass. Normally, the north-facing needle of a compass tends to align itself with magnetic north of the Earth, so we can see which way north usually is. And if we were to turn the compass, we would notice that it always stays facing the north, no matter which direction we turn it, because it's aligning itself with the magnetic poles of the Earth. Now what we're going to try to do is change that. We're going to try to change the pole from north to south and then south to north using magnetism and electricity. Magnetism is a force, much like gravity or electricity, that acts on charged particles, such as electrons. This property is often found in iron. So basically, charged particles will attract or repel each other, which sounds a lot like electricity. But what is electricity? It's a force caused by the movement of electrons. And now on to the experiment. For this experiment, we'll need a compass, a D-cell battery, and a wire. We're going to take the wire and connect it to both sides of the battery, the plus and the minus. And we see that as electricity runs through it, it draws the north end of the needle to the wire. And the needle will follow the wire around. When you release it, the effect stops. Now notice that distance has an effect on magnetism as well. This diagram shows our setup, plus and minus being the battery, the wire, and then the magnetic field circles the wire, all moving in the same direction. We can demonstrate here that if you change the polarity, or the direction of the electrical flow, it will also have an effect on the compass. Notice that now the white south-facing needle is being drawn toward the battery when we change its polarity. Now if we flip it over, it'll again draw the red needle toward it. So we can conclude using a galvanometer that the flow of electricity produces a magnetic field.